Edward of Westminster was the only child of Henry VI with his queen and wife, Margaret of Anjou. Little is remembered about Edward, but in this documentary we try to uncover who was this heir to the throne during the War of the Roses. Edward was born on 13 October 1453 at the Palace of Westminster in London. Edward was the only son of Henry VI with his French wife, Margaret of Anjou. In August 1453, two months before he was born, Henry VI was taken ill with mental health issues. This may have been schizophrenia or inertia, but whatever the illness was would play out a dramatic and bloody course for English history. These events would lead to Richard of York, 3rd Duke of York, to state his claim to the throne. Although, Henry VI, was the son and grandson of Henry V and Henry IV respectively, there were those in the House of York who viewed Richard's claim to throne as strong as Henry's due to both being descended from children of Edward III. Henry throne though was only claimed by his grandfather usurping his cousin and true heir Richard II. Edward's father's ailment though would seek the House of York to destabilize the government. First they would attempt to claim that Edward was a product of an affair his mother had with either Edmund Beaufort, 2nd Duke of Somerset and James Butler, 5th Earl of Ormond. However, there would be no firm evidence to support these claim and his father would always publicly claim his paternity. Whilst he was one year old and his father was still ill, Edward was invested as the Prince of Wales at Windsor Castle in 1454. This would be another title Edward would be known as Duke of Lancaster and Edward of Westminster. The next year would see what would become known as the Battle of St Albans, although the battle was more of skirmish than a battle with a very low casualty rate of less than 100. But politically it was a disaster for Henry as the battle was won by the Yorkist giving control to the Duke of York and the Duke of Warwick by making Richard of York the Lord Protector. In effect, this would make Richard regent for the kingdom due to Henry's illness. Henry VI though would be able to reclaim his throne in October 1459 at the Ludford Bridge in Shropshire. Henry and the Duke of Buckingham would push Richard of York and Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick into exile into Ireland and France, respectively. A year later in 1460, a seven-year-old Edward would face the Yorkist army again with both his parents at the Battle of Northampton. This time Edward and his family were defeated. This defeat it could have been avoided after the rout at Ludford Bridge, but the Lancastrians had failed to push home their advantage in the kingdom at the time. Edward would be forced to flee into Scotland via Cheshire and Wales with his mother, whilst Henry was captured again and taken to London. This time Richard of York, would be persuaded against claiming the throne for himself. He would though declare through the act of accord that himself or his heirs would ascend to the throne when Henry passed away, in effect disinheriting Edward. In Scotland, Edward and Margaret would reorganize Lancastrian support and rebuild the army with a number of Lancastrian barons and support from the Kingdom of Scotland. Edward and his mother, Margaret of Anjou had fled to Scotland following their defeat at the Battle of Northampton, where in safety they would be able to rebuild the Lancastrian forces. Richard of York though would rebuild his army ready for an incursion by Margaret and Edward in the north of England. This would culminate into the Battle of Wakefield which would lead to the restoration of Henry to throne again and the death of Richard of York. At the battle, it was discovered that Edward was starting to make his own decisions, when he ordered the execution of two Yorkist knights loyal to the Earl of Warwick, who were assigned to protect Edward's father in the Yorkist army. As a child often being brought up with conflict, gave the indication the Edward was being brought up as cruel and aggressive person. Edward's mother though would hesitate, unable to control her army and was forced to retreat rather than advance on London. Edward and Margaret would be caught by the Yorkist army led by Edward, Earl of March, at the Battle of Towton on 29 March 1461. The battle was the largest and most bloodiest thought on English soil, between 50,000 soldiers and at the end of the battle there would be between 9 to 13,000 dead. The battle was so fierce and deadly that the blood would turn the snow from the storm it was thought in red. Margaret and Edward would both survive the battle and flee to the safety of Scotland again. Edward's father was captured and taken to the Tower of London, and Edward, Earl of March would declare himself as King Edward IV. 
Edward would then travel into exile into France with his mother. Edward's fortune though would change, nine years later in 1470 at the age of 17. The Earl of Warwick sought to ally himself with Margaret after had fallen out of favour with Edward IV. Warwick plotted with Margaret to restore her husband to throne. Also, Louis XI of France wanted to seek Lancastrian helping him conquer Burgundy, who were Yorkist allies. As part of these deals Edward would become the godfather of Louis XI's son, Charles. And to ally himself with the Earl of Warwick, Edward would marry Neville's youngest daughter, Anne Neville. Warwick returned to England, and with the assistance of Edward IV's youngest brother, George, Duke of Clarence, he would retake the throne for Henry VI. Edward though would again dither and did not return to England with his mother until April of 1471. By this time Edward IV had regrouped and returned to England, reconciled with his younger brother, to retake the crown, defeating a Lancastrian army at the Battle of Barnet, where the Earl of Warwick was killed. Edward would lead the remnants of the Lancastrian army at the Battle of Tewkesbury in which he and his army was defeated by Edward IV on 4 May 1471. Despite many contradictions depicting that Edward may have been captured and executed by Edward IV, it seems that Edward died in the battle. His body would be buried in Tewkesbury Abbey. He would be survived by his wife, Anne Neville, who would eventually marry Edward IV's youngest brother, Richard, Duke of York who would become eventually Richard III. Later that month, his father, Henry VI would die, probably murdered on the orders of Edward IV in the Tower of London, and effectively ending the Lancastrian bloodline claim to the throne. Little can be noted of Edward's short life. As he was cut down at the age of 17 in the prime of his formative years, his true identity has not been recorded. The Yorkists has painted him as bloody thirsty and nasty and also lacking intelligence. For most of his life he would have spent be brought up by his mother, especially out of England, thus he would have not had the education and upbringing of a prince in the English Plantagenet court. The cruelest point of all, Edward was in fact killed by his own cousins, 